Hello and welcome to EPS for the Radiographer. I am Abraham. In the previous videos on radiography of the gastrointestinal tracts, we discussed the barium meal and barium swallow investigations. To complete the series on GIT radiography, we will be going over the barium enema investigation in the next set of videos. As usual, we don't want to go too much into positioning, so we'll list out the radiographic projections utilized in the barium enema investigation. They include the anterior supine, lateral and oblique images of the abdomen. Be sure to check them out in your positioning texts. A barium enema investigation is simply defined as a radiological investigation of the large intestine following rectal administration of conscious media. What this means is that unlike in barium swallow and mid investigations in which the contrast media is ingested orally, the contrast media is passed through the rectum in the barium enema investigation. The reason for this is simple. Barium enema is the investigation of the large intestine. Things taken orally take a long time to get to the large intestine. Passing the contrast media through the rectum allows the contrast media to go directly and immediately into the large intestines. Now we look over some anatomy. The large intestine has multiple parts. There's an ascending colon on the right, a descending colon on the left, a transverse colon between the ascending and descending colon, and a sigmoid colon that extends from the descending colon. Between the ascending and the transverse colon is a junction known as the right colic or hepatic flexion. Between the descending and transverse colon is the left colic or splenic flexure. Using the various projections in the barium enema, we aim to demonstrate these parts and flexures of the colon. Common indications for barium enema investigations include inflammatory disease of the colon such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, the development of pouches in the lining of the colon known as diverticulosis, abnormal tissue growth on the lining of the colon called polyps and changes in bowel movements such as diarrhea and constipation. Iberium enema, however, should not be done in patients who just had gastric surgery. In cases of suspected perforation, barium sulfate should not be used as it could leak into the peritoneum causing barium peritonitis. Also, the examination should be avoided in patients with toxic megacolon or an acute abdomen. We continue in the next video. Click here for it. Also, be sure to check out our social media page if you haven't. Link is in the description.